After months of waiting, it finally happened. Today, the Los Angeles Lakers acquired Anthony Davis, a bona fide superstar, in exchange for Josh Hart, Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, and three first round picks, including the number four overall pick in this year's draft. My first impression, I love this trade for both teams, especially the New Orleans Pelicans. Let's look at the Pelicans and what they got. First, you look at Lonzo Ball, who I think is going to thrive now that he's not in LA. Not only, not only is he out of the spotlight of LA, he's away from LeVar, which is like, I think a big distraction for him. And he's going to be able to now focus, play basketball, get healthy and be on a team where the pressure and the expectations aren't as high. And I expect him to thrive. And I think he's also going to play a bigger role in New Orleans as well. I think Drew Holiday, who I think he's similar to, is going to be able to mentor him into a fine player. And then Brandon Ingram, who made great strides this year, he's got that blood clot issue, but if he can get that settled, I think he's going to be a great scorer for the Pelicans. I think he can average about 17 a night for them, which is really good. And Josh Hart is a really good complimentary shooter. I could see him being a really good 3 and D guy in the future as well. And then you look at the three first-round picks. Now the Pelicans have the first and the fourth pick in this year's draft. So they're going to get Zion Williamson. And then with that fourth pick, they can trade down to get more picks so they can stockpile their roster even more. They could take a guy there like Jared Culver or DeAndre Hunter or R.J. Barrett if R.J. Barrett drops there. Uh, they have a lot of options they can do with that. And it's all about assets when you're rebuilding too as well. So the Pelicans have plenty of those. They got some nice young players, Lonzo, Kuz, and Hart that are established that can continue to get better. And then they got three first-round picks. So they're going to have Zion, Lonzo, Ingram, Hart, whoever they get with the fourth pick. They're going to have more cash space with AD off the books. They're going to have a lot of options of what they want to do. So shout out to David Griffin because that was a really good trade. And it's not easy too because the Pelicans also did not have much leverage. Anthony Davis going into the last year of his contract, he's not really committing anywhere long term and he wants out. So the Pelicans don't have leverage. It's not like every team knows they got to trade him and he only has one year left and he might not commit to us. But they got a monster haul for him. And in terms of the Lakers... It's win now mode for them. Okay, LeBron is only going to be LeBron for so long, and you want to make sure you can get as many title opportunities as you can while he is there. You know, your future might be wrecked about three years after LeBron leaves, but you need to be focused on when LeBron, who's the best player in the world, is in your city and on your team, and that is right now. So getting a top five player in the NBA to pair with LeBron without giving up Kyle Kuzma is awesome. And you look at Ingram and you look at Lonzo, they made good like good impacts to the Lakers, but not dramatic. Okay? The biggest thing they're losing is the four first round pick. Or the three first round picks, especially the number four pick this year. But going back to it, LeBron doesn't care about these picks because these picks are gonna take four or five years after the picks have been selected to become their full potential. And those picks, a lot of those picks have, aren't even going to take place until years after this one takes place, and LeBron's not even going to be a Laker then. So I like this trade for both teams because it fits the timeline of what both teams are trying to do. The Pelicans need to rebuild. They've needed to rebuild for a long time. They finally got rid of Anthony Davis, so they're going to have a really nice core of Zion, Lonzo, and Ingram, Andrew Holiday together. You add that together. So they're going to be a pretty nice team already, but they're going to be on the rise every year, and they're going to have plenty of draft picks. Plenty of options on what they want to do going forward. If you look at the Lakers, they're in win-now mode, especially after the Warriors players get injured in the finals, Thompson and Durant. Their window's open. Why not go acquire a top-five player in the NBA to help you achieve uh, your dream and your goal of winning an NBA title with LeBron James? Catch you guys in the next one.